welcome to Chamber Talk. My name is Heath Taylor. I'm the President and CEO at the Dublin Lawrence County Chamber of Commerce. Today I have Elizabeth Head with me and she is the Program Director at the Department of Public Health. Is that correct? A program coordinator, program but I coordinator. do appreciate the race. <laughs> well, we, see, we were trying to get you, get you a little boost right there. Thank you Elizabeth, for that. thank you so much for joining me today. Um, My pleasure. We had a, a very important program today, and, and this is a very important topic that we're yes, going sir. to discuss. This is the Georgia Yellow Dot Program, yes. and so I'm going to immediately go ahead and turn things over to you for you to explain to our viewers exactly what the Yellow Dot Program means. Of course, I'd be happy to do so. Okay. So the Yellow Dot Program essentially is a communication tool between uh, an older adult or a member of your community and EMS and hospital personnel. So think about if you had a motor vehicle crash or if you had an emergency in your home or anywhere really, and you had to call 911 or someone had to call 911 on your behalf, how would you let that person know that you had medical conditions or certain medications or what emergency contacts to get in touch with to let them know what was happening with you? So Yellow Dot takes care of that. This so, is so this is in case maybe you're yes. you're not capable when when you're in this accident or something to That's when correct. the paramedics come up you can't answer and say hey I, I need this will tell them for you. That's correct. Okay. If you cannot speak for yourself, Yellow Dot should be able to speak for you. Okay. Which is fantastic. And you were about to show I am. The... I am. So this is the Yellow Dot packet. Uh, and Yellow Dot serves you in two different places. Yellow Dot can serve you in your vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, you put this packet in your glove box and you put this really nifty decal on the back window of your car. Okay. And this lets first responders know that you have this packet in your glove box. It says, hey, I've got something I want you to know if there's an emergency. You can also place the decal on the door of your home or on your refrigerator and then you place the packet also on your refrigerator and again it lets EMS know hey I've got information I want to share with you that could be important. Okay so if it were in the home mm -hmm. and, and there's an emergency and EMS arrives and mm -hmm. they see this yellow dot they know to go to your refrigerator. That is correct. And that's where this information will be kept. So this yep. information does you no good whatsoever if it's in the drawer in the nightstand next to the bed. That's correct and I'm glad you brought that up. It's a really important point that the, the packet should be on your refrigerator and we love it because this is a very strong magnet clip that we include with the packet okay. so you can put the packet content and uh, just put it right on your refrigerator and it sticks really nicely. And in the car, in the glove box. In the glove compartment, yep. Okay, and, and what type of information is contained inside the, the packet here? Absolutely, so inside the packet we have a one-page form, front and back. The first part of the form is your emergency contact information. So who should EMS get in contact with if you have an emergency where you can't speak for yourself? The second part of the form is about your medical information. What types of medical conditions do you have? What types of allergies do you have that you might want them to know about? The third part on the front side of the form is a little yellow box at the bottom of the page, and that is to let fire or EMS know anything else that we didn't think to include on the rest okay. of that form, okay? So things like that might be, hey, you can't get blood out of my left arm. You really can only take blood out of my, my right arm with a butterfly needle. Uh, or I would like you to take care for my pet if, I, if, I, if I'm going to be in the hospital for a long time. Okay. And as far as the information that's in this packet then, I think what I'm hearing you say is there's, there's not a worry or a concern that someone could see your vehicle. Mm -hmm. They see the yellow dot and they think, oh, I can, I can steal this person's identity or get their personal information. There's no social security numbers, uh, no account numbers to anything. This is strictly medical information. That's correct. And it's very surface medical information. Remember, in an emergency, EMS, you're the EMS priority, not reading through a form. Right. So we have check boxes for what types of conditions you may have. And let's say you have diabetes and you have a condition related to diabetes that you want to expand upon. You would just write a quick couple of words about that in that emergency box. I'm also glad that you asked about the security of this form. We do not ask for social security number. We don't even ask for your full year or date of birth. It's only 
excuse me, your year of birth that we ask for in an effort to minimize the amount of personal information that's being sh potentially shared with others. Okay. And I don't know if you've been asked this question or not. It of just course. came to my mind. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe um, myself, my wife, and my two boys and my daughter mm -hmm. are in the car, and, and we have a yellow dot on the back of the car, and we have an emergency. Mm -hmm. um, all of us are, are <laughs> unconscious, and the paramedic right. comes up and yes. sees the yellow dot, and there are two of these in the car. They're of going to know who is Heath Taylor, versus Trent they Taylor will. and Camden Taylor as far as male and female. Mm -hmm. I, I know I have two boys and, and a daughter. Mm -hmm. So how, how does that work? I'm really glad you asked that question. So really important to Yellow Dot is that you include a current photo of yourself. Okay. Now, those that may have had the good fortune to have been married for 30 or 50 years, I think that's amazing. But those wedding photos, because we all bought too many, <laughs> um, those are not a good thing right. to put in yellow dot. You want a current photo. Not a glamour shot. Not, not a glamour <laughs> shot. Not a glamour <laughs> shot. Um, I'm sure you look great no matter yeah. how, however you get your, your photo taken, but I'm glad you asked that. Each person who, excuse me, who has a packet in the vehicle will need to have a photo attached to their packet. To okay, mm -hmm. fantastic. Uh, I think we're off to a great start here. We got a lot more of really important information that, that Elizabeth is going to share with you today. This is a, a great program. When we come back, we're going to talk about how this program came to Dublin and uh, the future of this program. So we'll take a short commercial break and we'll be right back. Accounting is the language of business. Nichols Calling and Associates speaks your language. We become useful participants on your team and are able to identify what you desire in life and business. Nichols Calling and Associates will develop a plan of action that helps you achieve your goals. Through knowledgeable team members, exceptional service, and the success of our clients, Nichols Calling and Associates has grown to a practice of near 100 team members, with offices strategically located throughout Georgia. All of our team members attend timely, continuing education that provides them with the knowledge and resources to exceed clients' expectations and meet the ever-changing demands of the marketplace. Nichols Cawley is a multidisciplinary firm. Quality, experience, trust. Because you deserve it. That's Nichols Cawley & Associates. Welcome back to Chamber Talk. I have Elizabeth Head with me today and she is discussing a very important program for us here in Dublin and Lawrence County with the Yellow Dot program. Elizabeth, let me ask you, um, is this a statewide program? Is this exclusive to Dublin and Lawrence County? Uh, and how did this come to be? Of course, and before we get into that, because okay. that's a really important piece of this, I do want to back up for just a moment. Okay. When we think of that one-page form where it's got your, um, your emergency contact information, your medical information, and your allergies, on the back side with your photo, your, your non-glamour shot, mm -hmm. you also want to include a list of your medications. Okay. The beauty of this is that you may go visit your pharmacist or your doctor and they could print a list for you. And that would make it a lot less work and a lot less time consuming. And then um, EMS and hospital personnel would have that information for you. Okay, so the more of your medical information you can put mm -hmm. on here, the more you're helping yourself and you're helping paramedics help that's you. exactly so, right that's okay. exactly right so back to where, where did this come from how did how sure. did yellow dot come to be sure so yellow dot was developed actually in connecticut back in 2002. a community got together and recognized the need for a communication tool as we've talked about between ems and hospital personnel and um, really older adults specifically and so they developed the program um, over the years, the program has uh, taken shape in some form or fashion in about 30 states, which is pretty cool for a homegrown, community-grown program. Um, what we've discovered in our research is that during that time, no one has actually evaluated the program. And what do I mean by evaluation? Uh, is the program helpful to the people using the program? Is the program helpful to fire and EMS or first responders? Is it helpful at the hospital? Um, what are the processes that make it useful and helpful? Right. So what we decided to do in Georgia was to perhaps be the first in the country to actually evaluate the program. So we chose two locations, um, of course, Lawrence County, Dublin. We also chose Clark County, Athens. 
uh, to pilot and evaluate our program. And we chose those two locations for a couple of really good reasons. Um, one, when you look at the data, a combination of hospitalizations, deaths, and injuries from motor vehicle crashes and all EMS calls, certainly Lawrence County, um, Dublin is not the highest on the list by any means, but you are elevated. And so we wanted to address that with a community that did have an elevated number of those types of issues. Okay. And then we looked at the size of the community. We really wanted to be able to get into the community and find out how people take up the program. Can we get a champion that is really excited about the program? Would um, for-profit companies and non-profit organizations be willing to, to come together and offer this program? And I'm really excited that, you know, mm -hmm. particularly in Dublin, we have that. And it's really an exciting time to see all of those organizations come together and be excited about a program like yeah. Yellow Dot. And, and tell me, maybe I missed that you may have said, mm -hmm. how, how do you you um, take that information and, and say, okay, this is helpful. Are you having follow-ups with the EMS folks, or how, 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 what kind of data are you receiving back? And how sure, are you receiving sure. That? Thank you for that question. It's a good one. So what we're going to do is, is we've established enrollment sites, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But we are doing an evaluation. So we're doing surveys with the people that enroll in the program and take packets home with them. We are doing interviews with fire and EMS, and we'll also be doing interviews with our, I, probably our enrollment sites and definitely the hospital to find out what their experiences are with the Yellow Dot program. Okay, uh, of course, with any program, people want to know, is there a cost? Which I'm, I'm glad I can ask you about this. This is my um, favorite question, yes. uh, because Yellow Dot is free. free. Um, and when we were deciding what areas to bring Yellow Dot, we really felt that in 159 county state, if we were gonna bring a program to an area, we wanted it to be free, because we're asking you to help us figure out the ins and outs of this program. So uh, we have 10,000 packets for Lawrence County and 10,000 pa 10, packets for Clark County. And so that program, is, this program is completely free to the residents uh, here in Dublin. Okay, so you've mentioned Dublin, Lawrence County, and Clark. Mm -hmm. um, I put one of these on the back of my car, I have this in my, my vehicle, and sure. I'm in Augusta. Sure. For the weekend, and I have an automobile accident, mm -hmm. is, is the person that comes to my vehicle going to have any idea why I have a yellow dot in the back of my car or, or not? A great question. Uh, we're working on that. When we started talking about this program two and a half years ago, we went around to all the regional EMS and we had discussions with them saying, hey, this is going to happen. We didn't have the cool packets or the stickers or anything like that. So what we're now ramping up to do is go back around to every region in the state and say, hey, these are the areas we chose. We have the packets. This is what you should expect to see. And I'm particularly excited because our state office of EMS has partnered with us and created a CEU course. It's only 15 minutes. Okay. Um, and all EMS across the state would have the opportunity to train for this program. So okay. we're and, excited. And so you have an accident and you have mm -hmm. your information here. Um, they don't keep your packet, they don't keep your information, they, they look at it, they put it back in the box. And so, because I know a lot of people today, and, and of course they should be, they're concerned with, with scams and people taking advantage mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. um, it sounds to me like there's not anything in here that would have you at risk of, of being taken advantage of in any kind of way. It? It's minimal. I don't ever want to say that something is risk-free because nothing is risk-free. Mm -hmm. um, what we will say, uh, and I do want to correct something, this packet will travel with you. Right. So if you are unconscious in a motor vehicle crash or, or unconscious in your home and EMS picks you up and takes you to the hospital, the packet travels with you. EMS takes from it what they need if there's anything useful and then they hand it off to the hospital personnel. And ideally, this packet will stay with you, the patient, throughout your stay in the hospital, which would obviously hopefully be short. Okay. Um, in terms of risk, we have done everything that we can do to minimize risk. We always encourage anyone that is using this program or any program or no program right. <laughs> to lock your car, right. to be aware of your surroundings, those types of basic safety measures. Okay, one last question before of our course. next break. Um, if you happen to be one of the, the types of people who at any given time can be in one of three vehicles um, <laughs> and, and your home, um, of course. You, 
you're supplied with packets for each vehicle that you need? That is correct, okay. yes. So you would be able to get a packet for your all your vehicles where you travel and your home. Uh, and my quick suggestion on that is not to write out your information four times. Right. Uh, it is to make a photocopy. Yeah, <laughs> so, and you mentioned these, these places that we can pick these packets up and mm -hmm. we have a few of them here. So we're going to take our, our last commercial break and when we come back we will discuss the places in Dublin where you can pick up one of these packets. Excellent. So. Thank you very much. Accidents destroy lives and property. Recovery is painful. So when it comes to legal help, you want compassionate attorneys who will fight for your rights. A friend in the system. An attorney more interested in your well-being than their bank account. At the Jackson Law Firm, we care about people. We're about better lives and better tomorrows. Call us if you need help. The Jackson Law Firm, the safe place to rest your case. Welcome back to Chamber Talk. I'm having a wonderful conversation with Elizabeth Head with the Yellow Dot. We're talking about the Yellow Dot program today. And you've mentioned these um, locations where, where someone mm -hmm. may be able to come in and pick one of these up. And I think we have three currently. That's in correct. Dublin. Would there, you share with our viewers where those are? Happily. Um, so the Dublin Senior Center is an enrollment site. You can go there certain days of the week and you would check our aging website to find out what their hours are. Um, okay. So we've got the Dublin Senior Center. We have the UGA Cooperative Extension. And then I'm really excited that we have two sort of um, person-centered care areas. One is um, rest care, home care, and the other one is home instead senior care okay and and so you can go into any one of these locations mm -hmm. and, and be able to pick up one of these packets absolutely and, and one other question I didn't ask you about this is is there an, uh, an age requirement for this program sure anyone who has significant medical issues would benefit from participating in this program okay. we're never going to turn somebody away but our focus is on those 55 65 and okay. older Okay. Um, and that is why we're targeting those types of um, enrollment sites. Enrollment mm -hmm. sites. And, and speaking of enrollment sites, if there's someone viewing the program today um, that may be interested in, in whether it's filling out a form yes. or maybe becoming an enrollment site, because mm -hmm. um, I think it's a great way for people to encourage people to come to their business. They it may is. come just to, to you know, sign up for Yellow Dot, but while they're in the business, it's a great opportunity mm -hmm. for exposure. So it what is. would they need to do if, if they wish to become an enrollment site for Yellow Dot? Of course. Anyone that would be interested in being an enrollment site uh, need only contact me, um, and you can email me personally at elizabeth.head, H-E-A-D, mm -hmm. at dph.ga.gov. Um, or speak with another enrollment site. They know how to get in contact with me. <laughs> okay, and, and I'm guessing a lot of folks watching the show right now may not have had a pen ready to get that information. So Happy to give it again. We, well, and we can make that simple um, if they can just call the local Chamber of Commerce, call us at the Dublin Lawrence County Chamber, and we'll be uh, happy to make sure we share that information if that. someone wants to get in touch mm -hmm. with you. So before we wrap up the program, any final comments on Yellow Dot? I'm really excited to bring this program to Dublin. I'm really uh, thrilled with the partnerships we've been able to develop, and I hope that we can develop additional partnerships. Uh, everyone who signs up for Yellow Dot, please consider enrolling in our study. Uh, it's a five-minute phone conversation if you're a senior, maybe less. Uh, and remember to add that wonderful photo when you fill out your packet. Fantastic. Thank you so much for Thank the you. work that Appreciate you're doing. It. And uh, again, if we can help in any way with that here in, in, at the Chamber of Commerce right. in Dublin, Lawrence County, we'll help you out with that. Thank and you. we um, never want to close our program without reminding you that it's a great day for business in Dublin, Lawrence County. Thank <laughs> you.